know we hope you are having a great day hanging out with some talented students and faculty here at the Cleveland Institute of Art and Design. Their Big Spring show is tonight, starts at 5, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, we're in the animation department, and that's the difference between the spring show and sometimes I do the um, show for the holidays. Now we're seeing the different majors and different students and those majors and what they have with animation. Okay, Chase, good morning. Hey, good Congrats morning. on your NASA internship. Thank you. Wow, very cool. Speaking <laughs> of, this is similar to a project you worked on for right. NASA, right? Yeah, so this is a creation that I made of a conceptual rover for Mars, mm -hmm. and this is a shot of it on the Mars surface. Okay, and then that rover was the set up 4G? on the, oh, uh, the project uh, was right the project was to um, get a rover on the moon yeah. so that they could have 4g satellite communications for the Artemis mission when they send humans back there in 2025 I believe awesome another example of your work is over here on this other screen right. so here I have a shot of a meteor entering Earth's atmosphere and okay. with this shot particularly I learned how to create uh, simulations and get better focus of detail this is a supernova, a massive star collapsing in on itself, creating a nebula. Okay. Um, and then I use a 2D transition effect to make yeah. it look like one cohesive event. And this animation could be used how? Give me an example. Um, really, it's a great way to uh, visualize what happens in space, okay. um, especially since a lot of the time what we look at is like physics and mathematics-based stuff. Okay. This shot is a recreation of the Artemis One launch. Love it. Um, the challenge with this shot was to uh, recreate all the dense smoke coming out of the rocket while still getting a good overall feeling and um, all that it's believable because you got me okay McKenna <laughs> this is the you said this is 2d more like what I'm used to the older guys okay so what do we have here and here on this screen yeah so this is some work from my senior thesis film mm -hmm. and up here we've got some of the character design that I did for it and down here this is what it looks like when I'm actually animating, so it's just like a regular pencil yeah. and paper. You just draw on the screen, and then. the frames move, move yeah, and tell the story. That's crazy. And then? and then up here, I have what the film looks like when it's actually done. So it's just a few seconds. And the story is about the main character is having a little freak out about math. Yes, exactly. <laughs> she is terrified of math and she is doing her best to run away from all the math problems. And an internship at American Greetings, is that yes, right here? Yes, I'll be working at American Greetings this summer and I'm very excited about Congratulations. it. Congratulations. Well, yeah, I'm used to this animation and I'm used to both, but yeah, this is kind of like what I grew up with. So yeah, thank you for being retro. So cool. Yeah. And they're going to show an animation feature at 7.30 p.m. tonight, just to give you an idea of what the students can create here. It is tremendous. And all those blockbusters, you guys, mm -hmm. that I showed, and that's only one wall, um, a CIA animation graduate, their work is represented in those blockbuster films. That's wow. awesome. Isn't that amazing? That's yes. pretty cool. Yeah. Amazing, right? Doing yeah. great things. 